So Meta just couldn't keep a secret. For months, everyone's been saying, hey, they're about to drop smart glasses with a display. And then, like clockwork, Meta goes and accidentally posts a promo video on YouTube. It didn't last long, but let's be real, once the internet sees something, it's never truly gone. For the glasses with a display, the video includes branding that says Meta Ray-Ban and Display, which finally clears things up. Remember those earlier leaks that had weird names like Meta Celeste or Hypernova hinting that Meta might go solo without Ray-Ban? Yeah, it turns out that's not happening. They're still very much in this together. The actual display lives in the right lens. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. Ask Meta AI something on the spot, bring up maps while you're walking, translate signs when you're traveling, and even reply to chats by literally writing in the air with your hand thanks to the EMG wristband. Don't get it twisted though, this isn't full-blown AR like that wild Orion prototype. Think of it as AR Lite, and that wristband? Pretty slick. It picks up tiny hand and finger movements, so a little pinch, tap, or swipe on your own skin basically becomes a controller. But um, wait, there's also a sportier model, this one's called the Oakley Metasfera. Totally different vibe from the classic Ray-Ban look, but for the record, the Oakley Metasfera glasses pretty much don't have a display. It's all about speed, wraparound lenses, sleek curves, basically screaming, I'm made for runners, cyclists, and people who actually go outside. So yeah, that's the big leak. If you've been following along here, most of what comes next will sound familiar. We've already covered it before. But if you're new, stick around, or if you've seen it all, feel free to skip ahead. Let's keep going. Let's kick things off with the Meta Ray-Ban display, the same glasses that earlier leaks called Celeste or Hypernova. Picture a slightly bulkier Wayfarer frame, but with a small monocular display built into one lens. This is what you'd call AR light. Don't expect 3D holograms dancing on your coffee table, the display is meant for simple overlays. From telling the time to weather updates, navigation, translations, notifications, and quick AI help, it's basically a smartwatch for your face. The display itself is reportedly using a Loomis waveguide with around a 20 to 30 degree diagonal field of view. Leaks suggest it'll be a color display and not monochrome, just enough to keep it clean and practical. And here's where it gets cool. Instead of poking at temples or constantly talking to your glasses, you'll control them with Meta's series wristband. This band uses SEMG sensors to pick up tiny muscle signals in your wrist and fingers, so a little thumb swipe or a pinch gesture becomes an actual input. It's basically invisible hand controls, very Tony Stark vibes. Of course, meta AI voice control is still there if you'd rather just say commands out loud. What's unclear is whether this wristband comes bundled with the glasses or if you'll have to buy it separately. Now, since these glasses have to drive a display, they're heavier than the Ray-Ban Metas. We're talking around 70 grams compared to the Ray-Ban's 50 grams. The frame is chunkier too, because it's housing a bigger battery, extra compute, and possibly even a front-facing camera capable of 3K video capture. Under the hood, Celeste is expected to run on a lightweight version of Horizon OS, basically an Android-based system. That means you'll get a simple home screen, a few built-in apps, and even some mini-games. Nothing crazy at launch, but here's the exciting part. Based on the MetaConnect 2025 schedule, a smart glasses SDK seems to be on the way. That's huge because it opens the door for third-party apps. Up until now, Meta's glasses were basically limited to calls, music, and camera features, but with Celeste's extra horsepower, plus cloud connectivity, developers could build way more. Everything from productivity apps to experimental generative AI tools. Speaking of AI, Meta's seriously leveling up here. Celeste will feature an upgraded multimodal Meta AI. That means it can process both voice and visuals like answering questions about the environment. Ask it, what's that building? And it can tell you. Snap a picture of a menu in another language, it can translate it for you. Leaks mention a feature called Super Sensing which allows AI to run quietly in the background for hours, not just a few minutes. Imagine this, your glasses notice you left your keys on the counter and remind you before you walk out. Or they suggest stopping by the grocery store on your way home because you're low on ingredients for dinner. That's the level of context we're talking about. And yes, um, Meta's even exploring facial recognition, like reminding you of someone's name mid-conversation. Pretty handy, right? Um, but of course, that also opens up a whole can of worms when it comes to privacy and security. Who gets access to that data? Like, how is it stored? Could it be misused? 
These are questions Meta hasn't answered yet, and you can bet regulators are going to have opinions if this feature actually ships. Uh, Connectivity-wise, Celeste works a lot like the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. It pairs over Bluetooth to your phone for calls, messages, and internet access. WhatsApp and Messenger calls will run through your phone, so the glasses aren't standalone just yet. Battery life is still a mystery, but uh, with that bigger frame, Celeste should pack a much larger cell than the Ray-Ban model. Some rumors hint at a charging case option too, similar to Oakley's 48-hour case, but that hasn't been confirmed. Either way, Meta's reportedly optimized Horizon OS to stretch power efficiency as much as possible. And of course, let's talk price. Celeste is rumored to start around $800, which is actually lower than the $1,000 plus price point Meta originally aimed for. Pre-orders are expected to open right after the Kinect announcement, with shipping in October 2025, the only snag. Availability is pretty tight. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo estimates maybe 150,000 to 200,000 units sold over the first two years. So yeah, if you want a pair, you'll have to move fast. Now, if Celeste feels a little too futuristic or expensive, don't worry. Meta is also working on refreshed Ray-Ban Meta glasses, codenamed Aperol and Bellini. These are more like what we've already seen, just upgraded. So Aperol is your sunglass version, Bellini is a clear, prescription-friendly frame. And unlike Celeste, these don't have a display. Instead, they stick to the classic AI-powered camera glasses formula. Style-wise, they look almost identical to current Wayfarers or headliners, but under the hood, there are some meaningful changes. First off, battery life is getting a significant boost. One of the biggest complaints about Gen 2 Ray-Bans was how often you had to charge them, and Meta seems to be tackling that head-on. On top of that, they'll bring super sensing AI here too, so the upgraded AI won't just be locked behind Celeste. The rest of the hardware is familiar. Dual cameras for 3K photo and video capture, open-ear speakers, and touch or voice controls. Basically, a refined, longer-lasting version of what people already love, Pricing is expected to fall somewhere in the $300 to $500 range, pretty close to today's $299 starting price. So here's the breakdown. Celeste is Meta's first real stab at AR Lite, packing a display, gesture controls, and deeper AI features, but it comes with a higher price tag and limited supply. Aperol and Bellini are the safer bets, no display, but smarter, longer lasting versions of the glasses people already know. And the best part? Meta is now building a true ecosystem for all these wearables. Between Oakley, Ray-Ban, and their own in-house designs plus that upcoming developer toolkit, this could be the moment smart glasses finally step out of novelty territory and into something people actually want to wear every day. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.